What's up, Gearholics out there? It's me, Zach, and I'm here with another review, and uh, I'm going to be reviewing today a really cool feature, and it's a first aid. It's a first aid emergency uh, emergency kit, or not an emergency kit. It's an emergency field guide, uh, basically. Uh, it's called the Pocket Guide to Emergency Field Aid, uh, and what it is is it's basically a a a, a very bare bones guide to how to or how to um, do many, many, many different tasks uh, in first aid uh, that um, that maybe you forgot about when you were first trained uh, how to do first aid, uh, or or if you have any kind of training at all, um, maybe you've you've it's been a while since you've you've really thought about it. Um, I have a first aid CPR uh, certification, so I, I do know a lot of this information already. Um, but it's it's good to know it's good to know uh, just because sometimes you know you need a reference guide. Uh, if, if you're in a, a situation and, and your, your mind is just uh, overwhelmed with, uh, w you know, whether it's adrenaline or whatever and, and you're having to work on someone or, or if you're having to work on yourself, um, sometimes it, it's better to just, it, you can't have a clear mind. And so this kind of helps clear your mind and really help you focus on what you need to do to help yourself be more prepared uh, uh, for an emergency situation. Um, it has really cool stuff. Up here, uh, you know, very basic, uh, very basic uh, skills: um, bleeding, choking, burning, cold, heart, uh, you know, heart injuries or heart problems, heart, uh, you know, cardiac arrest. Um, it also has. Let me see if I can fold over the entire section. Sorry. It also has. Uh, let's see. It's got airway, head, uh, uh, sprains, bones, uh, chest. Uh, shock and then on the reverse side there's also seizures splints bones again splints uh, uh, splints poisons and snake uh, specifically snakes um, and each one of these is like a tab like a folder and then it's also got this really cool one called the hook or a hook kit and how to it's how to safely remove hooks out of your skin um, these are the creators this is a uh, this is Ron uh, Ron cords and uh, Betty Cords, and they are they are uh, really cool people because uh, Ron basically designed the whole, or he, he thought of the whole idea of the pocket carry uh, first aid uh, kit. And then uh, uh, she is uh, the Betty. She's a some sort of a uh, medical nurse, and, and uh, she does apparently anesthetics or something. So she's she's medical. She's medically trained, and obviously knows how to do this a lot better than uh, you know the average person. Um, and it's kind of nice because they have a whole other series uh, uh, that uh, a whole others uh, other series other booklets that are all like this that are that are you can just kind of take with you and so that's kind of nice. What are some of them? Safe babysitting. Apparently, there's a pocket guide to safe babysitting. Fly fishing, weather forecasting, uh, hiking and backpacking, outdoor survival, outdoor photography, target target and field archery, sailing, canoeing, first aid. Oh, that's this one. Field dressing game, travel, you name it. They have it. Uh, I paid a grand total of $12.95. It says it right there. Can't argue with that. $12 and, you know, you're saving, you're, you're, you may be saving someone's life or prolonging their life until you can get medical, a better medical attention. You know, how much is that? How much is that worth to you? It's worth a lot to me. It's worth $12.50. Or twelve, you know, thirteen dollars, basically. You know, <clears throat> it's worth it to me. And I carry this around in my backpack, uh, you know, to keep uh, just in case. You know, uh, especially when I'm doing more, more like, uh, more like uh, outdoor backpacking uh, or or long distance trips, or even if I'm getting in the car and I'm and I'm traveling for long distances. Uh, you never know if your car breaks down. If you run into an emergency where where maybe uh, someone gets injured on the side of the road and you have to stop and help them, you know this is a great thing to have. You know, just in your car. You know, you could stick it in your car and have it readily available, and and it's very cool. Uh, you know, to to reference to, especially if you're freaking out and and they're freaking out, and you're like, I don't even remember what to do anymore. Um, you know, it has a very basic survival kit. I mean, a, a very basic kit on what you need medically uh, in the first in the first chapter. So it kind of gives you a nice breakdown of, of, you know, of each, of each chapter. Um, let's kind of do one. Let's do, let's do, let's do a random one. So who thinks that they know what to do for a spinal injury? So we flip to the spinal section. Look at that. 
Boom, 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 boom. Symptoms. What do you need to look for? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Real quick. Uh, it's a quick assessment, you know? Treatment. Boom. Right there. You know, don't, you know, don't do this. Don't do that. Try to do this. You know, if you have to, if you have to do this, you have to move this person, you know, whatever. They're going to say a whole lot more here than, than you're going to think about, uh, you know, and, 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 and really you can assess the situation a lot easier, a lot quicker. Um, head injuries, you know, treatments, how to, how to you know, symptoms, whatever. Uh, so it, it's, it's strokes. I mean, it's, it's, it's really kind of cool. You know, this, this is really a great uh, book to have. And uh, I have used this before to, uh, I learned how to wrap ankles because I forgot how to wrap ankles and I had to wrap my own ankle. I had a sprained ankle and I, I, I had somebody else wrap it and then I took it off to alleviate some of the pressure and, and to rest it. And then I needed to rewrap my ankle and I didn't know how. Well, pulled out my, my trusty book and rewrap my own ankle uh, the proper way, uh, all just based on how to, you know, let's see, sprains. So I went to sprains, boom, right here, sprains, how to tie it, symptoms, treatment, how to do it for your foot or your hand. It doesn't have the knee. I don't think it has a knee in there or, or any of the other ligaments. But, you know, basic, basic, basic. You know stuff. It's really great. You know, I learned how to how to retie my own my own my own leg, so it's helped. I knew it helped me. So, it's it's proven, and I, I trust it, and I take it with me. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't weigh hardly anything. I'd say maybe maybe like an ounce and a half, you know, for this entire book. And the whole entire book is actually printed on this plastic. It's like a plastic sheeting. You can see how shiny it really is. Uh, it's all shiny, and it's made out of uh, very durable plastic. So you know whether it's water, blood, uh, dirt mud rain doesn't matter um you can take this anywhere you literally stick it in your back pocket and have it all the time and be totally 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 safe and i i, I personally feel like everybody should have this uh, even if you're medically trained i think this is a great reference guide to go back to um, of course it doesn't have everything in here there uh there obviously if you're in a severe medical situation where you're needing to uh you know you're you're needing to prolong someone's life this is going to be your best help uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be your number one go-to for that situation. And even if you're those bug out guys, those guys that are super survivalists, Hey, right here, right here. You're talking about a whole library to take with you right here. So that's just my thoughts on it. Uh, I think it's a great series. It's a great book, very easy to read, very easy to find the symptoms and break down and, and, and solve and solve the issue and the problem. Um, you know, from the most basic things such as bug bites, even down to the most severe things such as a broken ankle, back injury, head, neck, or back injury, um, or if somebody goes into cardiac arrest, how to actually, you know, prolong their life using CPR techniques. And whether or not, I'm not going to sit here and argue on whether or not uh, certain CPR methods work over others. Uh, I know that the rules change all the time on CPR. Um, and you know what? I, I really, I don't care what the rules are. I'm going to do what I have to do, and I'm going to do what this book says I should do. Uh, you know, and, and not and not discuss or argue over over the facts of, of what I think I should should and should not do. Um, obviously, you know, you're going to need to assess the situation if, if you're going to be doing that. But it's just kind of a really good, uh, you know, a really good thing to have for just in case of those emergency happen. So um, if you guys like my review, uh, that's great, and I hope that this I hope this kind of brings a different light into uh, you know emergency purposes, uh, and and maybe you guys will be you know on my side about the fact that you should carry this thing around. Um, you know you you don't have to, and it's not you know it is an option. I just want to present you guys with an option if if you are uh, wanting to get something that will help you in the long run, uh, and and also keep others around you safe. Uh, you know, and you don't have to spend you know six hundred dollars to get you know wilderness first aid, you know, certified, uh, you know, you can, you can do, you can do simple, simple, simple things by just following this instruction guide. Uh, and, and I mean, this is designed for, you know, from even the most intelligent, uh, most well-skilled, uh, you know, CPR first aid person down to the, the plain, you know, average Joe person or Jane for that matter. So highly recommended by me. I highly recommend it by my channel. And uh, once again, I say stay safe out there. Uh, be smart. Uh, don't hurt yourselves. And obviously, don't cut yourselves. All right. Later.